Okay. Okay, we're live. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Country Chic Paint Facebook page. I am Holly, and I own the store Gracie's Place, which is located in London, Ontario, Canada. And um, I am here doing a live for Country Chic Paint because I am a retailer. So if you're from around this area, London, Ontario, um, in and around there, you can actually come to my store and you can buy paint. And I'm very excited that Country Chic Paint has asked me to come and do this live for them. So I have come up with a really fun project for this live. If you know anything about me or if some of my followers are watching, um, you guys know and you'll know now at the end of this that I really love a good thrift store find. I love to upcycle and I love to reduce and reuse things. And Country Chic Paint really helps you guys um, take thrift store finds and make them look high-end and new and gives them a second life. So for today's DIY, we're going to be making a three-tiered um, upcycled tray using spindles and some plates that I found at uh, a thrift store. So before we get into that though, you guys, I just want all of you to leave a comment below and let me know where you're tuning in from. Say, hey, your name, um, if you've used Country Chic Paint before or if you're new to Country Chic Paint, leave all that in the comments below. And um, if you have any questions too throughout the live, just feel free to pop them in the comments and I would be more than happy to answer them if I can. Um, I'll let you guys know too, there's a giveaway going on um, f during this live video. So um, we will be picking somebody randomly, uh, Country Chic Paint will be picking somebody randomly to win. And the giveaway is really great, you guys. So you'll get two pints of paint of your color choice, uh, tin, uh, two ounce wax of your color choice as well, and a short handled brush as well. So um, for this tutorial, what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using Simplicity, which is a nice white shade from Country Chic Paint. And I'm also gonna be using the Antiquing Wax. And this DIY, I'm keeping it really um, simple for you guys, really easy, simple, and um, a really great beginner project if you're Patty new to Country says Chic hi, Paint. Holly. Hi, Patty. Patty's one of my regular followers, so I'm so glad she found me over here on Country Chic Paint. And, um, yeah, so you guys, and also feel free to send some hearts and likes if you want. I love those. <laughs> I can't see them. Normally, I'm when I'm doing my own lives, I have the camera turned the other way so I can see myself in your comments. But my mother's here. Her and I run the store together, and she's going to be reading out um, your comments. Alexandra's watching, too. Hi, she Alexandra. She says it'd be awesome to win. It'd be, it would be awesome to win. So, yeah, guys, keep commenting because they're going to pick somebody randomly to win um, that great Hi prize pack. Hi from Stratford. Stratford, that's nice and close. Um, okay, so I think maybe we should get started on the DIY. What do you guys think? Um, I'm going to go over the supplies again just for the people that are tuning in. And as you're tuning in, feel free to leave any comment. So again, for this tutorial, we are using, I have some spindles here. These are just um, thrift store spindles. I think maybe they go together because it's kind of short. So I think maybe they go together for a staircase. I don't know. I found them at the thrift store. So I thought they would be great for a project like this. And then I have these enamel plates that I found at the um, Salvation Army thrift store. And what's funny is, is they were actually buried under a crappy old Tupperware. So nobody saw them and I, I like to dig when I go in the thrift store. Um, okay, so what I've done to prepare the project, oh, and the paint, sorry you guys. So we're using Simplicity um, and we're just using the, um, the four ounce jar. We don't use a lot of paint for this project. And if you've used country chic paint before, you know that you can really, um, stretch the paint really far. It's a great, great paint. Um, and then we're using antiquing wax and I just have a little foam brush here since we're painting these little spindles. So I've done up two ahead of time, just so, the, or three ahead of time, just so they were dry. But I'm going to show you guys um, right from the beginning, okay? So we're just going to do one here now. So what I did with these spindles, I'll show you, is I just cut them in half. Not in half, because there's this nice um, uh, decorative piece in the middle. So I cut it on either side of that. It doesn't matter which side. Just to make my spindles a little bit st um, smaller. Because if you don't do that, these spindles, you're going to have a really long... A really tall tray and if you want a tall tray that's fine you can leave them or whatever you find right I have to say hi to Patty she's saying hi to me she's saying hi to you yeah normally my mom is just in the background if you guys watch our page Gracie's place 
my, you'll hear my mom's voice in the background. Oh, the other great thing, if you guys are watching, if you want to order paint online, you can save 10% with our code, Gracie's Place 10. So use that code if you ever have to do an online order and you get 10% off um, your order, okay? So that's something to keep note of. So what I've done is I've just cut a spindle here in half, or sorry, I said it again, you guys, not in half, just down the mark. And again, I highly doubt you guys are gonna be able to go into a thrift store and find these because that's what a thrift store is. You just take what you can get, but you should be able to find something similar. And if you can't, you can always go to Home Depot um, or a hardware store and get a, a, a new spindle, okay? So you can get them. So don't worry about that. So I'm gonna take my simplicity here, and I love simplicity. It's a nice, um, it's, I really love it. It's like a nice true white, that's what I always call it. And I'm just using a foam brush here, and we're just gonna paint it on our spindle. Now you have see, you will notice that I did sand the spindle a bit, just because these spindles had been painted before, the paint was a little bit globby in some areas. So I wanted a nice smooth finish, so I just sanded off where the paint Whoever painted these before was not really a good painter. <laughs> it was kind of really, um, they did nice thick coats. And I will tell you guys, the my thing that I tell all my followers with the Country Chic paint is nice, light, even coats, okay? It is far better to do multiple light coats than one big, heavy, drippy coat. That's where you get drips and everything like that. The other great tip that I love to share with people that are just starting out in painting before you paint your pieces, make sure you clean them really well because if you have any like dust or debris on them, um, that's all going to show up in your painting. It's going to, you know, it's going to, or in the paint job, you're going to see the dust and stuff built up in the corners and in the crevices. This is why I like using a foam brush. I'm just going to show you guys here for this because this does have little crevices. So I just kind of sponge it in there. And if you guys have any questions, feel free, feel free to throw those into the comments, okay? I will try my best to answer them. So I'm just giving this a nice light coat here. And obviously, um, on the ones that I'm going to show you in a minute, I did two coats um, of the Simplicity because this is going over a dark brown spindle. If you were using a natural wood, I bet you could get away with uh, one coat. But these had already been painted before, so... And guys, don't forget to comment below where you're tuning in from. I know that Country Chic Paint has followers all over the place, so it's always interesting to see where people are watching from. And if you guys um, have used Country Chic Paint before, um, feel free to tell me what your favorite color is, or you guys can even comment below and tell me what color you would paint your three-tiered tray. That's always fun too. I always love hearing what other colors people would choose. I'm going for a farmhouse look for this, so that's why I went with Simplicity. And then what I'm gonna show you guys in a minute is really cool is the antiquing wax. Hi from Woodstock. I'm Woodstock, here. that's close too. We got a lot, of, I think all these people are coming over from Gracie's Place page. I, I, I posted a little post saying that I'd be over here tonight, so I think they're all coming Patty over. Patty says she has some antique enamel plates that she could use. Yeah, and, you, that's right. You could use what you have laying around the house too, if you have it. You don't even have to go out to a thrift store. Now, I'll show you guys a neat little hack. This is just, these have a hole in the bottom, so I stick my finger in there so I try not to get my fingers all covered in paint. But you guys can see how nicely this is going on here. The Simplicity, uh, all their colors really, but I'm using Simplicity right now. I love the, this paint and I tell all my followers that come to the store, I love the Country Chic paint because it's a clay-based paint that gives you that chalk-like finish. And um, I use it for all kinds of projects. Oh, we got someone from Alberta. Oh, Shirley there we go. Park. Yeah, hi. Carrie. Carrie, hi Carrie. Um, so yeah, I use it for all kinds of different things. Everything from little tiny DIY, something as simple as painting a terracotta pot, all the way up to finishing dressers um, and furniture. I did my kitchen in bliss. My mom, yes. She just redid a kitchen. We'll have to share pictures of that on the page. She did her whole kitchen in bliss. What did you use? Bliss? And did you put a finish on it? Yes, I used white wax. White wax, yeah. Went for the cottage country look. Yeah, it's really nice, guys. I'm going to get down there and take a picture of it for you. Okay, so... Carrie says hello. Hi, Carrie. From Sherwood Park, Alberta. 
I carry. <laughs> so you guys, so this is one coat here. And I'm going to tell you guys, you could leave this and you could go on and it does kind of already have that rustic kind of finished, um, finish to it. But I'm just going to set that aside for a minute. And if I can get it off my finger without wrecking it. Another person from Alberta, Elder Flats. Elder, oh, lots of Alberta. I guess, is there a lot of country chic fans out there in Alberta? I'm just going to wipe my hands off here so I don't get uh, any paint on anything that I don't want to. Okay, so you guys, the next step, once you've done your two, your both pieces of your spindle that you've cut in half, is the fun part. This is my favorite part about country chic paint, is the wax. I love their wax finishes, and I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Um, I was going to say way. May is wax month. So you can get um, savings on the wax. So make sure you guys like Country Chic Paint page. If you haven't already, like their page. And make sure you follow because come May, you can get savings on wax. It's wax month at Country Chic Paint, okay? Alexander wants to do a china cabinet and rocking chair. In what color? Do you know yet? Or are you still deciding? <laughs> I know there's so many pretty colors. It's, uh, it's hard to decide sometimes. Okay, so I love the waxes for the simple fact that you can take any painted piece and you can give it a totally new look, okay? So for the farmhouse style, I like antiquing wax with simplicity, and I'm gonna show you guys. Now, you can use a wax brush to put this on. Um, I use wax brushes when I'm doing furniture, but when I'm doing small little pieces like this, I prefer to use just a piece of cheesecloth because I find I get a little bit more control, and I just take the cloth and I put it on my finger like this, and then I can really work the wax into where I want it to go. So I'm going to show you guys here. So I just take a little bit of wax on my the tip of my index finger on the cheesecloth. And I'm just going to rub it over these raised edges on the spindle. Okay, just like this. And see how much, see how my finger is just kind of guiding it and I can put it where I want it. Um, so I'm going to go all around the spindle here and that's why I love doing things like this with the raised edges and the little nooks and crannies because it gives you somewhere to work the wax into. Rita Clinton says hi. Hi Rita. So this again is antiquing wax over top of simplicity from Country Chic Paint and now you can see it's not, I'm going to rub it in, I'm going to take a new piece of cheesecloth that's cleaner and I'm going to rub it in just a little bit and look at that finish you guys, I love it. It's so, like, it's so nice. I just, I love antiquing wax. And I'll tell you guys, the first wax that I ever used from Country Chic Paint, I'm going to say four years ago, four or five years ago, was antiquing wax. It was the very first wax that I ever tried, and it is forever my favorite. I love it. Sonia says, found you. You found me. <laughs> Hi, Sonia. A lot of my followers are coming over. I love it, guys. Thank you for the support. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take this piece that has more wax on it and I'm gonna go down and do the bottom pieces as well. Now here I'm gonna do a little bit more than just the edges. I want it more um, on the bottom. I want more of it. So I'm gonna do the flat areas as well as the raised edges. And like I mentioned before, you guys, this just shows you with the cheesecloth how much more control you get. And also you guys, take note that I have not gotten more I have not dipped back for more wax this is how far you can spread this stuff and actually I'm going to tell you this is the first tub of antiquing wax isn't yeah. it is it Are I think sure? it is I think it might be the second or maybe it's the second but I'm telling you guys in four years I have used two tubs of antiquing wax that's how far I can stretch this stuff and that's how good it is so Alexandra wants to paint her chair indigo blue and her cabinet off white indigo blue that's that's a I dark wonder, blue. That would be a dark blue. So I'm wondering. Well, one of my fa my favorite blue from Country Chic Paint is the Pico. Yeah, that's like their navy blue. I love it. Is that the color you did that piano? The piano, yeah. The Pico is my yeah, favorite on, the, on your blog. On my blog, yeah. You guys also for you people for everyone that's tuning in that doesn't know me, I do have a blog as well where I do share um, Country Chic Paint projects as well. Um, Hollygrace.ca is my blog, so you can check that out too. Okay, and now we're going to go up here and we're just going to do the uh, top part. So you really just kind of work the wax around where you want it. And you guys, this is so easy. This is a great beginner project. If you don't want to sit, say you have always wanted to try country chic paint, but you don't want to paint a dresser or a piece of furniture, start out small with something like this. 
go to the thrift store and find, you know, they have all kinds of like wooden bowls with detailing on it. Just test it out on that. Or even just a terracotta pot from the dollar store. That's what I always tell people. Just play around with it. So there we go. Alexander says she loves your piano. I know. <laughs> Isn't it nice? I love it. I almost contemplated getting a different one and selling that one, but then I couldn't part with it. Okay, so it needs to be tuned though. <laughs> so now I have my second one. So you'll notice one is bigger and one is smaller. And that's again, because I said I didn't cut it right in the middle, but I like it that way. I like it that way, you guys. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some new wax. I'm gonna go for a new, new little piece of wax. And again, I'm just dipping it in, grabbing a little bit, and we're gonna rub it on. This one, I think I'm gonna go a little bit, little bit heavier with the wax on the uh, on the edges here. Any questions, you guys, feel free to pop them below. And um, also, don't forget that we're doing a giveaway. Country Chic Paint is giving away two pints of paint, a short-handled brush, and a two-ounce wax at the end of this video, okay? So make sure you guys comment so they see that. And they're gonna randomly pick somebody. All right. So I'm just rubbing this in here. And we're gonna do the bottom piece again. And again, you guys, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. It's all just creativity and what I think looks good. That's the joy of creating, I always say. Just go with your gut. All right. And the good thing is, is this wax, it sets pretty quick. Like if this one is, pretty well you can handle it you're before like if you're doing a dresser or something you should let it set for about 12 hours before you touch it or put anything on the dresser like that but I didn't get as much wax on this one so I'm just going around and rubbing it on and I actually find applying wax very relaxing And you guys also, I'll say it again, just if there's any new people tuning in, don't forget that you can use our code, Gracie's Place 10, for 10% 10 off of your order online. So if you wanna order paint online, feel free to use our code and get those savings. All right, so there we go. So we have two there, done with the wax. Rita would love to win, she's never used before. Well, I'll tell you, Rita, it is amazing and we have a lady that came into our store never used country chic paint before and she caught the painting bug she has been back so many times she is painting everything in her house she is going crazy mustard yellow <laughs> mustard yellow I, lo I love the fresh mustard from country yeah. chic paint love it okay you guys so um just to show you a comparison this is one coat with the simplicity just by itself this is two coats with the antiquing wax so like I said, you could leave that there, but doesn't this look more finished? Like this looks like a dry brushing technique, right? Which is fine, it's fine, but I prefer the more finished look. So there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our tray together. And this is super easy, you guys. So what I have is I have um, some E6000. I have my three enamel plates from the thrift store. And we're gonna put the bigger one on the bottom. Now, that one, I'm gonna go for this. Patty's one. coming to get some wax. Patty's coming to get some wax. All right, we can hook you up, Patty. So I'm gonna just take my E6000 and I'm gonna just apply a little bit on the bottom of the spindle. And then I'm gonna put some on the bottom of the tray. Now, my spindle is got a hole in the bottom, so and then we're just gonna press it down. Now, ideally, you need to let that set for 12 hours, but we're live, so I'm not gonna stand here for 12 hours, you guys. So I'm gonna put it all together, and um, see, I got these plates for $1.99. I didn't even take the price tag off there. Feel free to send up those hearts, you guys. Hearts and likes, we like those around here. If you're looking for something to do and your fingers get bored, hit that like button. <laughs> And don't forget to like Country Chic Paint. If you guys are, if you guys have come over here from Gracie's Place and you're not already a Country Chic Paint fan, go ahead and like their page because they always post tons of great tutorials, tons of tips about the painting, and I've learned a lot just from following their page, their Facebook page. 
So now I'm gonna put some on the bottom of this plate and some on the top of our... Rachel needs the courage to try a large piece. A large piece? Oh, you know what I say? Go for it. Just do it. You will never know if you don't do it. That's what I always say. And you know what? I think there's a saying about something about some of the greatest successes were born from failures or something, isn't there? No? I don't know. Lots of great sayings. Yeah. I think that paint pan is crooked. Is it crooked? See, this is where I, I can't tell because I'm... Usually I get down and I like, you know, but... Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay. And then we're going to put our second one on the top. Alexander liked their page. There you go. <laughs> See you guys. Now you can follow along. The I'll tell you guys, the one project that I really, really want to attempt, and I, I've been watching it on the Country Chic page for a long time. I've seen it shared over and over again, is the ombre dresser. Do you remember that one? I remember, yeah. The ombre dresser with the, I think it was done with Enchanted, um, the purple color Ever After, I think. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, it's so it's so gorgeous. And I, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to do it one day. I am going to try to do the ombre dresser with Country Chic Paint. If you guys, after this live, go ahead and search it up. Just type in ombre dresser, country chic paint. It'll come right up. It is gorgeous. I don't know who did it, but it's country so... Country chic loves the ombre piece. Yes. I, oh, I love it. It's my... It's that list that is on my... Or that project that what? is on my list to tackle. Sharon says it would look great in the garden or bird feeder or use in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, the tray. Yeah. So many things. The kitchen, the bathroom, crafts, so, like your desk. You could use it to put your um like pens and pencils and paper clips and what have you, you know. Um, yep. So you guys see, I'm just doing this over and over again here. It's just basically stacking, and I hope this doesn't fall because it's not really set. Normally, you guys, you should do one at a time, let it set, then do the next one. But I want, to, I want you guys to see this done here. So I'm just going to press very lightly because I don't want it to topple. But you guys get the idea, right? Right. You get the idea. See? Hi, Holly, from Veronica John. Hi, Veronica. See, it's going to topple, you guys, because you should do this set and set. But I'll show you. We have one that I did beforehand, and you can check it out. I did a tutorial for it, and I believe that Country Chic is going to post it on their blog. Donna Maislin. Hi, Donna. Another, she Another says, follower. a cute, cute bird feeding station. I like that idea, Donna. I think that's a great idea, bird feeding station. I'm going to just fix up my E6000 because this glue is expensive and I don't want it to get all sticky and wrecked. So give me one second, guys, and I'm going to show you the um, the finished one that I did. So this one, again, a little bit different because, um, you know, at the thrift store, <laughs> you guys knew that was going to happen. We'll have to fix that up later. My apologies for the loud noise, you guys. Veronica would use it for her ensuite, for her jewelry. Jewelry, yes, that's another good one. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a good, well, thing, it's a good thing you have one done. <laughs> it's a good thing I have one done, you guys. There you go. Crafters real, just like us. Okay, so now if I can move this one without all the decor toppling. Okay, so you guys, this is a different example of one that I made, and I'm going to remove some of the decor pieces so you can see it. I took this home and stacked it up in my kitchen and I didn't want, even want to bring it back for the live because it looks so good. Um, but I am taking it back to my house afterwards. So I found these cake pans at the um, thrift store. I use cake pans for this one, but the same spindles again, but for the top, for something a little bit different, um, rather than doing three tiers, I put a drawer pull on the top. I just screwed a hole down um, through the top of the spindle and I just screwed a drawer pull into this one. So. Um, this is just an idea of a different style. I like this one because it's cake pan, so it's a little bit um, more sturdy. Like you could put more stuff in, then won't fall out. More of an edge. More of an edge. That's the word I'm looking for. Yes. Patty says that Robin Thorough Ray just did an ombre for. Uh, th I know. That's where I saw it again today, Patty. We, we know Robin. It. We know Robin. Yeah, yeah, she's great. She's she's going for it. She attempted the ombre dresser. It's like the coveted country chic piece. <laughs> okay you guys so um yeah so i think that's it i think we went over everything if you guys have any questions um 
keep popping them into the comments and as well um you guys again i'll just let you know Sorry. you can do this with any kind of color you want um dark light oh, okay. different finishes shannon mitchell okay so we have a winner for the giveaway we've just got confirmation so the winner of the two pints uh paint the wax and the brush is shannon mitchell so i believe that country chic paint will be in touch with you or you're to get in touch with them I don't know. I, I'm sure they will figure it out. They've just told us that Shannon Mitchell is the winner for the giveaway. So congratulations, Shannon. Thank you for watching. And um, I hope you enjoy your free uh, giveaway prize pack. And I'm sure you will have lots of happy painting with that. Um, if you guys are looking to buy any of these products, you can always go to countrychicpaint.com. Country Chic Paint also has a store locator on their website. So even if you're not um, near us, you can go to the store lo locator and they can tell you where a Country Chic Paint retailer is around you. But again, you can always order online. And if you do order online, don't forget to use our code Gracie's Place 10 for 10% off. And uh, is that it? Do you have anything else to add? I'm just the camera person. You're just the camera person. And um, yeah, so anyways, uh, huge thank you to Country Chic Paint for allowing me to come on here and do this DIY tonight. Thank you to all my followers who came over and watched me and to anybody new that was watching as well. Um, thank you. And you guys, just all I want to say is if you're thinking about trying out Country Chic Paint, just do it. Just Bite the bullet and do it because I guarantee you, you will find the best hobby around the and best it's garbage hobby. season too. and it's garbage season so Bro. get out there get by the roadside and grab those dressers grab those coffee tables i already saw them um throwing them out by uh by where we live they're already putting stuff out my mom picked up two wood old wood high chairs yesterday mm -hmm. so it's coming you guys don't be ashamed to pull over and pick up those <laughs> those coffee tables <laughs> i do <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like Country Chic Paint, give them a like, and be sure to check out their website for great tips and projects and great paint. I will see you guys on another live or um, come on, check me over, at, check me out at Gracie's Place. Take care and have a great night.